Soundtrack Saturday. Welcome back. We're going back to the year 1998. A, a, a franchise film called Blade. Ooh, it's so exciting. Written by David Goyer. Based on the original character from the Marvel Universe, Blade, uh, who was actually uh, created by Marv Wolfman and Gene Colan. This film was directed by Stephen Norrington. Uh, this movie stars Wesley Snipes, Stefan Dorif, and Chris Christopherson. Wesley plays this character, which is, he's like a human, but he has vampire abilities. Um, so it's, it's like the walking dead amongst us, which are vampires. And at, of course, at, at a certain time, they come out and expose themselves. And he's, you know, kind of half human, half vampire in a sense. So he can live in the underworld, but he's fighting for the regular people. One of those movies where like the action is really good. I feel like the combat in this movie, it, it, it has stepped a notch up uh, with, you know, having like a Matrix movie around and other like coming off of Jackie Chan movies and shit. This was like a solid action movie. Uh, Wesley Snipes found a way to play this like, you know, kind of Batman-esque character, but give him personality, which is like, it's tough for an actor to do. So you gotta give Wesley Snipes props for that. Um, I really feel like this franchise is special. That's why they're bringing it back. They're gonna do a new, I think Mahershala is playing the new Blade. But this is the original. This is where it kicked off at. This soundtrack was released by TVT Records and Epic Records. Executive produced by Wesley Snipes himself. Oh, like I've been here James Brown, uh, that's who I call mystical because this nigga, he's, he takes these James Brown runs in his raps, which I don't, I've never heard any other rapper do. Uh, so it's very unique to him and, and James Brown, he is the father of hip hop. Um, so we all kind of steal something from him, even if we don't notice it. This The beat is horrible to me. Uh, you got, uh, as a song, I'm definitely not coming to listen to this again, but I'm always interested to hear with Mystical kicking, because Mystical is very, he's a special talent, he really is, and I always listen to a Mystical record. He was my favorite from that No Limit crew. What? You act like a Twitter star. This ain't no death and stone bullshit war, we all jumping. You got M.O.P. and Gangstar, which I just covered another Gangstar album, uh, which was really good. And Gangstar, they quickly become one of my favorite uh, acts of all time. This beat is like super premiere. It sounds like premiere. Guess that it has that like, that, you've heard this beat before. It's got that New York daytime sound. I'm not crazy about this beat because a lot like premiere shits these beats out like on accident. He probably made this beat in like three minutes. M.O.P., you know, I, they got lost in the shuffle for me as far as like, because, you know, Mob Deep, I used to get them and Mob Deep mixed up until I really started listening to Mob Deep, and I never listened to M.O.P., like, because for Gangsta for me, it was super easy, like, to connect with what they was doing, but M.O.P., it just never really translated for me. Yo, 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 let me test this mic when I'm freshly right, you the best tonight, KRS, you tight, when I'm freshly snipe, if you the best, be the light, we can be playing, we can be fighting, we can be there, we can be night, whatever you say, it better be right, it can be exciting, but the fight and be frightened to blacks and whites reciting our Writing better with like not clash and tighten writing beyond verbal fighting expressing a lesson in song writing whether I'm right or wrong or both I'm reciting the oath to be the most on both posts whether I MC toast the host I expose the logo the teacher once again and he's one of those art KRS is one of those artists that he transcend the music uh just because of his host of knowledge um and this nigga like they showed him the movie and in his fucking analytical brain he made a song like really embodying it with his, 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 almost his flow is like he's fighting. 
You know what I mean? And he's like shouting out Wesley Snipes. He's comparing how hip hop is is fighting, like the art form of fighting is hip hop. You know, uh, he's explaining the depth of it. This nigga's so smart. And he's doing that within this rhyme. Like most people might listen to this and just not even really know what the fuck is going on, but he's really complimenting the movie with this song. Um, I'm not crazy about this song, but I'm I'm crazy about his like the way he used it. You know, he's not worried about being cool or anything. He's really conveying a deep message within this song. And I look up to him a lot. Um, so shout out to KRS. You ain't gonna hear me say nothing bad about this. Shit. Well, Tom's you step in the game. It's like a dead end. If it's a game, you can't win. Take your eyes off the title. It's vital. You lose every time that I'm your rival. Now you wanna fight. I hit you with trying. You know I'm not lying. Go to pay the damages. I poop away like a genie. I get what they was trying to do with the beat. They was trying to make it like, because in the movie, he's he go, plays on both sides, like the vampire and the light. So he tried to make it like a vampire-y type of song, but it doesn't work. The rhymes are weak on this joint. You get this down to earth. I've never heard of down to earth or Rome. I don't like the slow-mo like flow he's doing on here. It doesn't work. And then the rhymes aren't potent enough to to penetrate this record, so. Trying to get paid so, I'm juggling dope to rob a legend stove. Nobody knows, but my field, nature's how it feel, nigga. Lock down with the bomb, smoke a square to the field, feel the expiration date. I'm a life getting closer, get down the crib, crash it on my pot, this mom's so. Well, I see my range rolling back crib as you will. Without standing in this motherfucking trap and swear to 12, ain't shit swear. This joint is like, it's super mid. Uh, I like their storytelling on it. The flows and the voices I'm not too crazy about. Because, you know, when you're doing hip-hop, you got to kind of have all of the ingredients. Like, you got to have a dope voice. People got to fuck with your voice. You got to have the rhymes. And then the flow pattern and the schemes got to hit. I just feel like they got the story and they got, like, the content. But the way they kicking it uh, isn't, like, the best shit ever. But uh, this is my second time here in Parental Advisory. I think I just covered them on the CB4 soundtrack last last week. So it's it's cool to see him pop back up again. Never heard of Wolfpack. They like a southern. They like a southern fucking bone thugs. I actually kind of fuck with it. This has potential to grow on me, like, the more I listen to it. Um, because these niggas, they, they cool. They kind of jiggy. You know, I, I like the beat low-key. I wish I had a little more thump into it, but it's all right. They made a cool little song out of it. It's, it's a little UGK-ish, even. The hook is kind of weak to me. You know, that's what holds it back. And the song is hella long, so, you you know, for young people, you ain't going to be able to hang through this motherfucker. Because it's, like, over five minutes. <laughs> Casino, and this this song hella boring to me. Just a baseline, simple baseline. That's not bad, but it's not much going on here. You know, um, Casino, I never really listened to much of him. I've heard him when I covered another soundtrack. He popped up. Um, he kind of gave me, like, Cameron vibes. And I wasn't, uh, I'm, I'm hard on Cameron. Always have been. Kind of turned me off. I ain't going to front. Um, yeah, I'm cool on this record. But shout out to Casino. <laughs> This is a time where I'm not crazy about the beat, but I do have respect for the artists on here. Bonnie Kelly, he tried to do his best to like put the sauce on it. You know, and he does, but it's not enough for the for this beat. You know, to overcome the vibration of this joint. I don't, I'm not feeling it, but they they did their thing on it, and I'm sure somewhere somebody liked this joint. But. <laughs> I 
This joint kind of groovy, bro. It make you want to dance. It falls right in that. That it's different, almost Miami bass type of tempo to it. But uh, some it's some other shit, man. Busy Brown B brought that Cleveland shit to it. This shit hard. The way he in the back. This joint, it makes you want to move. If you listen to this, it'll catch you. And it sneak up on you. It's not like outright, you like, oh, I got to have it. But like once you listen to that joint, you're like, oh, shit. If this is this is like the radio version of it, um, EPMD right here mixing this up, and I really like it's a perfect like interception of hip hop and techno um and i really i'm interested in that because it's really the future so this is really before it's time it's mantronic and epmd which i think is uh a amazing fucking pairing <laughs> to to connect such groups um who seem so far in the type of music they make but way more closer than you would think and i think that's why they made this also it goes with the movie like with those vampire raves like this is like a hip-hop version of that <laughs> Dominican, um, you know, electronic EDM type of uh, DJ. He's one of the top guys, uh, especially for that time. Um, so you know, you could you could recognize his skill mixing wise. Um, not my favorite mix, you know, but in, in the right party, you know, what I mean, off the right drugs, you see me bouncing around in some shit like this. <laughs> This seems like a fight scene, you know, these are perfect for scores in this type of movie. Trust me, this is shit that you wouldn't even recognize as you're watching it, but it, you're being influenced by it. It's like it's Mortal Kombat type shit, make you want to fight, make you want to like just duke it up against a motherfucker. Like you just play this outside at, on, on a big ass cyber, motherfuckers just come out the cribs and just start fighting. <laughs> Straight, straight tempo music. They putting a lot of the like scores from that they used in the film at the end here. But these are actual songs by actual bands. It, it gives life to the movie. You know, it gives it that vampire-y, dark underworld uh, feel of it. So it goes perfect with the theme of it. It's not something I'm gonna sit here and jam to though. <laughs> DJ Crush, never heard of him, but he got like a cool little, cool little vibe going on in this joint. This is some shit I could rap to. Um, I probably wouldn't pick it, but if somebody put it on, I'd be like, oh, hell yeah. This is jazzy. It's upscale, kind of. Nice little subtle instrumental that got some transitions. Fake. <laughs> Junkie XL, out of the Netherlands. I never heard of them, but I just know the motherfuckers from out of this country usually does, they do this style so well, and it's so crisp. The motherfuckers really know how to transitly uh, put you in a zone. I am a fan of it. I like I like the shit. I just don't know where to go, you know, like, or the right times to play the shit. I only know of, like, party time to play this type of shit, uh, but I wouldn't, and I wouldn't know who to go to if I was personally going to do it. I never heard a soundtrack like this. It's 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 like 
the the line between techno and hip hop, and I like that they play with that and toy with it. Kind of starts you off in this weird new sounding hip hop, and then it takes a dive, like still hip hop throughout, but like dives heavy into the techno world, which is still hip hop. I feel like that techno world is just hip hop's baby, but still making sense with the movie. Um, I thought it was it's a good art piece. You know what I mean? Not your favorite soundtrack, but just good for what it is. You gotta watch this. As a matter of fact, if you ain't watched it in a while, you should go back and just watch the whole whole series. So that's it, man. That's it for Soundtrack Saturday. Y'all enjoy your weekend, man. Get out in the elements. I know it's a little cold in, in most places and shit. If not, you know, just stay in the house and fucking watch this shit. Alright, man. I'm out of here. Y'all be easy breeze out.